What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to game three of the uh, Zen Tamer of Purpose Goliath Gauntlet series. Once again, this is classic constructed, so a little bit of a deviation from what we normally do, but still as excited as ever to bring you this sort of content. Uh, joining me, or once again, I am Bill, and joining me today, we have Jay also known as Zen State Fab on YouTube. Thanks for having me as always. Thanks for being here. Uh, and hopefully thanks for uh, being my punching bag while I hit you nope. with a bunch of tigers. Nope. So um, so yes, uh, once again, I'm playing Zen, Tamer of Purpose. Uh, he is a mystic ninja who uh, has a lot of interactions, very positive interactions with crouching tigers. Um, and his hero ability is no exception to that. For one uh, for one inner chi or for three blue resources, uh, search for or create a crouching tiger in your hand, then search your deck for a card with combo, banish it, then shuffle. You may play that card this turn. Uh, we've seen that to be quite impactful, mm -hmm. quite powerful, and I'm able to get that off. Um, so I'm hoping that remains true. Uh, we, he's also wielding his tiger taming Kakara, which allows me to make the tigers that I have even a little bit more impactful. It turns them basically into a Kadachi, uh, but on an attack that costs two for two with Gogan which is not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Traverse the Universe on my head, which is uh, just an insane card. Uh, it is essentially block two, search for any card in my deck, um, which is extremely good. And I'm excited to do that again too. Uh, 12 Petal Kasaya allows me to generate a few extra resources whenever I transcend, uh, which is kind of add a fourth. It's like add four resources whenever I transcend, which is very good. Uh, in this matchup, I don't think the making a Zen State token is gonna come up, but uh, in some matchups, it can be extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have Tiger Stripe Shuko, just to buff up the Tigers a little bit extra and have uh, two extra Blade Break. And Stride of Reprisal uh, to block one and create a Crouching Tiger helps for some really good pivot turns. Yep. Um, but that's what I'm doing. What are you doing here, Jay? Uh, just hanging out, you know. Yeah, <laughs> just came for a good time. But uh, no, I'm going to be bringing a KO, Armed and Dangerous, to the gauntlet i'm gauntleting the, or the, gauntleting you, uh, you are the gauntlet yeah, i am the gauntlet you are the gauntlet mm -hmm. <laughs> um so he's been sort of like a big bad in the meta um quite good quite impactful so we're going to see how zen uh, measures up here mm -hmm. in this uh matchup i'm really excited i very like i i love brute probably my second favorite we're saving the best for last my favorite hero and class of all time uh so stay tuned for that one but anyways ko has a very very um simple but game warping ability he only has one arm so i can only play one claw but beyond that uh, attack action cards i own get plus one while they're in any zone other than the combat chain mm -hmm. so if i'm not blocking or attacking they count for plus one uh which as we know brutes care about plus six or greater powers all of my fives are sixes and yeah all of that so the first time i discard a card with six or more i also get to make a might token which will buff uh my next attack with ko mm -hmm. Turn it on the pretty side. I have my mandible claw here on my one arm. <laughs> um, this is a once per turn action attack. Uh, for two, if I've discarded a card with six or greater power, it also gains go again. Mm -hmm. There's some fun shenanigans you can do with some uh, new-ish cards from heavy hitters that uh, may come up. So it's essentially a three uh, go again. Mm -hmm. For two, I also have some very impactful and not okay equipment on my side of the table. Uh -huh. uh, this old guy, which uh, Bill's a big fan of, a scowling flesh bag. Yes. <laughs> uh, arguably his favorite or best designed card. Just about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when it defends, it intimidates, which is such a cool way to like tweak an existing me mechanic. Um, it, yeah, requires your opponent to really play around it often. Uh, pulls a card from hand when you're defending. New card alert, uh, Savage Sash from the, uh, the first, I guess, classic constructed sort of pre-con. Uh, and this card is not okay sometimes. Mm -hmm. I was telling Bill before, uh, it either kind of does next to nothing or it's like really not okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, how did they print this? Uh, but anyways, as an action, I can destroy this. Attack action cards with six or greater um, power, which is like all of my attacks, cost one less to play this turn. So I can come in with like a swing big for one, yep. <laughs> one for eight. Uh, and if I'm resource starved or if I can put together a crazy turn, this can be like really not okay. Um, Apex Bonebreaker also makes me a might if it defends along with a six or greater power. This does not work with KO's ability, notably because it's on the combat chain. Hmm. 
It also blocks for two with temper. And then scabskin leathers, if I'm in a position where I need to get some more attack action cards, Bill's looking you have exacerbated. A lot of block. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of block. A lot of block <laughs> and also a lot of not okay cards. Yeah. So the the equipment suite right now for Brute is like uh, pretty cool. Yeah, you just casually have, what is that, two, four, mm -hmm. uh, that's Six, another two eight. essentially. Well, these are three. Yeah, those this are is threes. three. Nine, eleven block. Yeah, yeah. You just start at fifty-one life. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see if I enjoy uh, staring down my favorite card in the game, Scowling Flesh Bag. Uh, let's break into our bastions and get this party started. So a little first turn setup here. I'm going to play this Assault and Battery, pitching this Reckless Swing, which I'm going to look forward to seeing later. Mm. <laughs> Potentially, mm. Assault and Battery has a, a new mechanic-ish, new mecha ish mechanic. Beat chest. Uh, as an additional cost, I'm going to discard this card with six or more power. Wrecker Romp. Okay, so from the discard, I will make a Might token. Mm -hmm. This is coming in for five. Excellent. Uh, do you have another trigger? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yes, uh, uh, so that's because, important. Because you've beaten chest, I get to make I an agility token. token. Okay, yeah. so that's pretty bad for me, mm. uh, all things considered. But uh, what I will be doing about that is the following. I'm going to block for five with Excellent. this Biting Breeze and this Pouncing Chi. You've done it. I will move to Arsenal. Excellent. I think this hand is bad. Oh. But uh, I'm going to see if I can put something together just okay. for fun. All right. I'm going to attack you with this Tiger Swipe Yes. for two. Uh, it has combo, however, that is irrelevant okay. because this is the first attack this turn. Yes. Uh, so it is coming in for two, and that's it. <laughs> I will declare no blocks. Okay, I have uh, reactions Please. In, the, in the reaction step. Yep. I'm going to play this path well traveled. Okay. Uh, target attack gets go again. Nice. I'm going to hold priority. Okay. I'm also going to cast Preserve Tradition okay. to put an action card from my graveyard on the bottom of my deck. Interesting. I'm going to choose this pound, Pouncing Chi, so that's going to go on the bottom. Okay. So now, uh, Preserve Tradition will resolve. It sees that I've played another blue card, so this is going to uh, transcend into an inner chi. Cool. Uh, that's going to make me a resource from my 12 petal Kasaya. Path well traveled will resolve uh, giving Tiger Swipe go again, which will give me an additional uh, inner chi because it has seen that I've played another uh, uh, blue card this turn. I played both of them and they saw each other. Very nice. Uh, very similar to Revel in Runeblood shenanigans. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so I'm going to be attacking you for two with go again. I have no reactions. Excellent. I will take two. Sounds good. 38. Uh, I'm going to activate Zen's hero ability mm -hmm. uh, by pitching this inner chi. Uh, I will make a crouching tiger and search for a card with combo. So off of Zen, uh, I'm going to find this mauling chi and I'm mm -hmm. going to put it into my banished zone. Not super impactful follow-up, but I will be attacking for one with this crouching tiger uh, with go again. I will declare no blocks. Excellent. Taking one. Uh, I'm going to pay one additional uh, that I have floating here, uh, and I'm going to play this Mauling Chi from my Banish. Uh, when this hits, if Crouching Tiger was the last attack this combat chain, deal one to each opposing hero. Mm. I will declare no blocks. Okay. Taking five plus one, six. Five plus one is six. Uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. So I'm just going to arsenal this and pass over to you. Excellent. Beginning of my turn, Agility and Might will pop. Mm -hmm. I will begin with a Runner Runner, uh, pitching a a reckless swing, one float. When this attacks, uh, if it has go again, which it does for my agility, I will create another agility. So it's coming in for seven go again. Hmm. I am going to declare some blocks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to block for seven. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, growl, biting breeze, and pouncing chi all under the bus. Okay. Under the bus they go. I'll follow that up with a swing big, pitching a foil command and conquer that I pulled in an arcane rising opening. Well, very nice. On my channel. Hell yeah. It's beautiful. It's still rude, though. Yeah, it's kind of um, rude. Uh, this is for eight. Yes. Uh, and quicken on the line. Yes. If it does not deal any damage. Well, it will be <laughs> dealing damage. I'm just going to be taking eight here. Okay, take eight. I will Arsenal two. pass. Sounds good. I'm just going to be passing the turn back to you. Okay. I'm going to draw three cards. Okay, beginning of turn, agility will pop. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play this Runner Runner oh, from yeah. Arsenal. One float. Because it has go again, it will make me a new agility. Coming in for six with go again. I'm going to declare some blocks. I'm going to block with my Stride of Reprisal and my Traverse the Universe. Okay. So that'll make a Crouching Tiger in my hand and also allow me to search for an Inner Chi and put it in my hand. Pretty good. So I've searched for my Inner Chi and putting it into my hand. I now have six cards in my hand. Okay. Uh, and I will be taking three damage. Please take three. 29. I'm going to go ahead and break the chain. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm going to roll <laughs> scat Whoa. skin leathers. We are feeling lucky. Here we go. <laughs> that is a one. <laughs> no. That is, in fact, oh. a one that you have rolled. <laughs> I will arsenal pass. Okay. That is very unfortunate. Uh, hopefully this this crackback I have is good enough. Uh, I'm going to kick things off. I'm going to pitch this energy to mm -hmm. play this tiger form incantation. Okay. So I have two specifically chi resources. Uh, we'll mark that slightly differently so that in case it matters. Mm -hmm. um, but the next crouching tiger I play this turn uh, gets plus one. And if I pitched a blue card, I create a crouching tiger in my hand. Very nice. I'm going to follow that up uh, going down to one resource. Uh, I'm going to play this art of war. I'm going to banish this crouching tiger I just made. Uh, to draw two cards and give my attacks plus one plus one this turn. Very nice. Let's see how many cards you get to see this turn. Ooh, those were some good ones. No. I'm going to follow that up. I'm going to activate Zen's ability, mm -hmm. pitching the second energy to make another Crouching Tiger into my hand and search for a card with combo. Okay. Uh, so off of Zen's ability, I'm going to find Chase the Tail. So surprised. And put it into my Banish Zone. This Crouching Tiger is in my Banish Zone, but I can't play it because I banished it off of Artivore, so I'm just going to remove it mm -hmm. to make sure that things are more obvious. Uh, I have pitched two blue cards this turn. Uh, so I'm going to pay one to attack you with this Levels of Enlightenment, mm -hmm. choosing go again, draw a card. And right. because of Art of War, it's coming in for four. Okay. I will declare no blocks. Okay. Go to 27. I'm going to play a second Art of War. Sure. Uh, in order to play that, I'm going to pitch this Mauling Chi. I'm going to banish this Crouching Tiger from my hand to draw two cards and give my attacks an additional plus one plus one this turn. I'm going to follow that up. I'm going to attack you with Biting Breeze. This is my first attack with attack one or less, but it gets plus two from Art of War. So this is coming in for three with Go again. If it hits, I create a Crouching Tiger in my Banish Zone that I can play this turn. Okay, I'll be blocking this with uh, Command and Conquer for three. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to then attack you with this Crouching Tiger from my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be for two with Go again. I don't think there's any reason for this uh, oh, for sorry. A block here. Yep. Apologies. It is for three because of Tribal Right. So right, it's right. for three with Gogan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and declare no blocks. Take three to 24. Sounds good. I would like to follow that up with a Tiger Swipe from my arsenal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start cleaning this up a little bit. So this, uh, because Crouching Tiger was the last attack this combat chain, this has plus two, go again, and when it hits, I create X Crouching Tigers in my Vanish Zone, where X is the number of Crouching Tigers I control, and I can play them this turn. Currently it's one, okay. but this is coming in for six with go again. Six? I'm going to go ahead and give you Fridge. Okay. Flesh Bag, Sash, and Scabskin Leathers for six. And Intimidation. Uh, this one until end of turn. Okay. So this has been fully blocked mm -hmm. for six. Uh, so I create no Crouching Tigers. I have no resources floating. So unfortunately, that is going to be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, but I will arsenal this and get my Intimidated card back and then pass to you. Okay, on my turn, Agility will pop. Uh, I'm going to start off with a Bear Fangs, pitching this Run Roughshod. We're going to draw a discard. Oh, sorry. Draw. <laughs> Discard a random card, Whoa. so it has to be one of these. Okay, okay. This one. Okie dokie. It is a smash a six. instinct. So this is going to get plus two from its own ability and go again. So it's coming in for eight, go again. I'm going to block four or five okay. uh, with a wind chakra and a growl. Please take so three. I'll take three, going to 26. I will present Mandible Claw, pitching another blue. I'll have two float here. That's coming in for three with go again, since I've discarded a six or greater. I'll take three, go to 23. I will finish off with another Bear Fangs. Draw, discard, and uh, Frappe Eclairé, your favorite card, <laughs> uh, which does count as a six. Uh, from yeah. KO's ability, it's coming in for eight. I'm just going to take eight, go to 15. All righty. Goodness. Gracious me. Gracious. I'm going to kick things off by attacking you with this Bittering Thorns for four, pitching this Maul. That will leave me with a resource floating. Mm -hmm. When this hits my next attack, this turn gets plus one. I will declare no blocks. Sounds good. Go to 20. So that will buff up this next card, which mm -hmm. is uh, unfortunately a very good one in not this scenario. <laughs> but I will attack you with Chase the Tail for oh, five no. with no other effects. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the five and meet you at 15. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I will pass the turn. The reason I was just having you send me the bill is because I'm going to start this turn off with a Blood Rush Bellow. Uh, as an additional cost, I have to discard a random card. Mm -hmm. I have two float after pitching this blue Wrecker Romp. This one. This one is a pulping, which makes me a little bit sad because I would rather keep that in hand. That's but good. That's good. this does draw me two. It will buff my Brood Attacks plus two, which does not exist on this deck or on this uh, 
Dice plus two until end of turn, and I draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and present this Mandible Claw, which will get the buff plus two for five with the go agains. Oh, I forgot something. I make a might. You do. Yes. Uh, from the first discard here from uh, Chaos Ability. Absolutely, you do. I would like to see what you have, so I'm going to declare no blocks and go to 10. Fair enough. I have a Savage Feast, which I'm going to pitch this E Strike for. Uh, discarding this one remaining card from hand. Okay. Beast Within will trigger. So if Beast Within, uh, so I won't make another Might, obviously, mm -hmm. but if this is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the combat chain, banish the top card of my deck. Um, if it is uh, six or more, which it is, uh, from KO's ability, I would lose a life, go to 14, and this would go to hand. Okay. Uh, this is coming in for eight. Oh. I also, <laughs> you also forgot, draw yeah, I draw <laughs> yeah. a card from uh, Savage Feast's this ability. This is fine. Well. I kind of have to be aggressive here. You have two cards in hand. It could just be yellow or blue card plus pummel, but I'm That'd just nice. gonna I'm just gonna declare no blocks. Okay, please go to two. I will go to two. I will move to Arsenal and Arsenal this card. We're gonna start things off. This turn is not gonna be nearly as impressive as your turns have been, but uh, I'm going to attack you with Harmony of the Hunt, uh, pitching a blue Harmony of the Hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so since this one is a red, it's coming in for three with go again. When it attacks, if I've pitched a blue card this turn, I create a Crouching Tiger in my hand, which I will do right now. Okay. Uh, and I have two resources floating, coming in for three with go again. I'm gonna declare no blocks on that. Okay. Taking three to 11. Sounds good. I'm gonna be breaking the combat chain here. Okay. I'm going to play this Tiger Form Incantation, mm -hmm. uh, paying uh, one resource for that. The next Crouching Tiger I play this turn gets plus one. And if I've pitched a blue card this turn, I create a Crouching Tiger in my hand. More Tigres. Which I shall do once again. And then that has go again. Then I'm going to play out this Stir the Pot as an instant. I will shuffle. And then if I played another blue card this turn, I transcend. So I will shuffle first, then transcend. But uh, I will do both at the same time, essentially. Very nice. So I have shuffled. Uh, I have transcended. The energy is in my hand. And then 12 Petal Kasaya does give me another resource back right, right. Uh, in order to uh, do some stuff. And that stuff will specifically be, I'm just going to attack you with this Crouching Tiger uh, for one with go again. OK, I think I will take the one. Excellent. At instant speed, in, in at some point, I'm going to pitch this energy to activate Zen mm -hmm. to find a card with combo, put it into my hand, as well as this Crouching Tiger. Sounds good. Sorry, the card with combo goes into my Banish. Got it. So off of Zen, I'm going to find Chase the Tail. Wow. <laughs> uh, what a surprise, truly. Uh, then paying one, I will attack you with this Chase the Tail, which has its combo activated. So uh, it'll have go again, and my next Crouching Tiger will have plus three. OK. I'll declare no blocks. OK. Taking four down to six. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to follow that up with another Crouching Tiger that has plus three from Chase the Tail, plus one from Tiger Stripe Shuko, so a total of four with Go again. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna block for one. You got it. So you'll take three. Down to three. Sounds good. I'm gonna arsenal this mystery card and pass the turn over to you. And it's mysterious, that card. Mysteria. Mysterious Mysteria. Beginning of my turn, Might will pop. Uh, I will present this Uncons unconspicuous, conspicuous, inconspicuous. Extremely conspicuous. Conspicuous. <laughs> I think it's kind of conspicuous. Yeah. Pitching Pound Town, one float for four. I will declare a block with this Biting Breeze, as well as my Tiger Stripe Shuko for four. Very nice. Instant speed before this resolves. I'm going to instant discard this Agile Windup to make an Agility and a Might, since mm -hmm. it is... Mm -hmm. Six, and because I've discarded a six or more power, this will gain go again, of course. So you're full blocking. Yes. I have go again. Yes. What I will do with that go again is break the chain. Okay. Because we can't whiff two. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to activate. Okay. Scabskin Leathers. You're like 50% here to do, well, it's uh, a two. It is a two. Okay. So nothing, nothing happens. happens. That's fine. That's okay. Nothing we had to try. We had to try. Because yeah. there's no way. We're, there's no way we're rolling two ones, right? <laughs> Gambling. I mean, you rolled a two. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and uh, pound town, pitching an assault and battery. I'll have one float. This is coming in for five. It does not have going. I will block with this roar of the tiger and my 12 petal Kasaya for five damage. How many cards do you still have in hand? Two. two. Excellent. I will arsenal pass. Well. Uh, I'm going to pitch this homage to Ancestors for three, uh, using two of it to attack you with my Tiger Taming Kakar for two with Go Again. I will block for two and get no value from my Vect Phone Breaker and be sad. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Because that's on attack, I will attack you with this Crouching Tiger for one mm -hmm. with Go Again. Okay. I'm going to declare no blocks. Okay. 
Do you have any reactions? No. Okay. <laughs> I will take one. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to activate Zen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pitch this energy to search oh. for a card with combo, yep. as well as make a crouching tiger in my Yes. Hand. Oh, no. Uh, so off of Zen's hero ability, I'm going to find Mauling Chi and put mm -hmm. it into my banish zone. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to use my last resource floating to attack you with Mauling Chi. So this is a one for five. Uh, and when it hits, if Crouching Tiger was the last attack this combat chain, I deal one to each opposing hero. Yes. So if it deals damage to you, you die. <laughs> I will block four. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will take one. You will take... Plus one. One plus one. To zero. You don't have block? <gasps> Brute hand! Oh my god! But just just <laughs> yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, for, if somehow sash. I have Savage Sash and I have blue in hand, I just need to show you this hand. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, whatever, Bonebreaker Bella doesn't matter. So Bonebreaker Bella goes over here. I break Savage Sash. These are on the board. We go Bear Fangs for which costs one. Two float, draw a discard. Ooh, there's a whiff here, actually. Uh, I, I would have picked this one. Okay. Not a whiff. So <laughs> that's not the ideal situation, but this <laughs> is still for uh, nine go again. Then I have a wild ride <laughs> with still one floating draw discard. Oh. oh. So if you yeah, pick if this, hit, yeah. this is another, so that's, this is where Savage Sash is like not okay. Yeah. This is a 9, 15, uh, 23. Uh, Cause it has plus, oh no, it doesn't have plus one. Yeah, 23. Yeah. That's crazy. That's pretty wild. I, the only reason uh, that I won that game or even had a shot at all was the Scapskit Mothers. That was the literal well, yeah. only reason <laughs> that I was still in that game uh, because I basically had to turn pretty. off as well. Um, I had to block pretty aggressively and then just pass with an energy in my hand. Um, and then the fact that you attacked for, it was like six or eight damage or something, um, yeah. and then rolled scab skins and hit the one. That is like basically the only reason that I was able to stay in the game, <laughs> the, the, that I had like a pressure turn even a little bit after that Yeah, was the only thing. I think um, one of the, the cast bonds ends up being a trap for me. Uh, I tend to like value it too heavily, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I should have just blocked with it because uh, that's why I rolled scab skins to try and... Mm -hmm. It ended up sitting in, in uh, Arsenal. This would have been a three more health, which yeah. would have actually allowed me to do that sh Savage Dash uh, turn at the end, so. Yeah, and then that, at, at two with the, how inefficiently with this deck blocks, yeah. like a lot of the stuff is twos, a lot of the stuff is zero from energy. Yeah. Um, yeah, there wouldn't have been a, Good whole, game, though. a whole lot. Yeah, that was a, a nail biter. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I'm still I'm still very surprised, but anyway, um, thank you, Jay. That was very fun. That was thank a very you. fun game. Had a great time. Uh, thank you, uh, the watcher or listener at home, uh, for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed watching that game as much as we liked playing it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see the final game that's coming up next. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be playing uh, Jay's favorite deck, uh, one that he's uh, kind of all in on. So I'm I'm excited to see uh, how this matches up, but. Uh, until that time, uh, we'll have to call it here for today. So stay well, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.